Well, most people put on their Sunday best for church, but you won't be finding that here. These days, a new type of church is emerging where the suits and the ties and the fancy dresses are being replaced with cowboy boots and rodeos. A Fox report now from Chris Gutierrez. It's when I die, I know I'm going to heaven. Boots, buckles, and Bibles. Jesus' blood, the key that lets you in. It's not your typical Sunday service. You know, sometimes you ask your husband, honey, what are you thinking? <laughs> This is Cowboy Church. We try to make the sermons really basic. We try to make the atmosphere really comfortable. It is just taking a target group and trying to put the, the gospel in their cultural context. Pastor Gary Morgan. Now look at Ephesians chapter 5. Leads the largest cowboy church in the world. Here, come as you are is more than just a slogan. We just preach simple uh, messages that touch people's lives every Sunday. In Texas, the Cowboy Church movement is supported by the state's largest Baptist group. So far, they've started 145 Cowboy Churches statewide. Texas has 25 million people. 20% uh, of those embrace the Western culture in some way. And studies show most of the people in that group don't go to church. But that's changing. Y'all get behind him, ride your boat, Tanner, stay square! This is where the rubber meets the road. Come around, Tanner. Come around, buddy. Make, there you go. Church-sponsored rodeos are the perfect place to reach those who may not be spiritually connected. Brett Schaefer got hooked. I am seven days a week involved in ministry. Eight years ago, I was Christmas and Easter involved. Heavenly Father, we, we thank you for this night you've given us. Through the rodeo outreach, cowboy churches have helped lead countless people to Christ. Many of them are later baptized in a horse trough. There's been some churches say, well, why do we need a cowboy church? If the cowboy wants to come to church, he can come to ours. And I can see their point, but uh, at the same time, they've been around and he's not going to their church. And with an average of 200 people per congregation, the cowboy way is working. In Dallas, Chris Gutierrez, Fox News. Hmm, I was recently looking for somewhere to hold my wedding. That's a thought.